In less than a month, Tesla stock price has increased by 47%. That's a $200 billion increase. And what that's done is precisely what Elon Musk predicted it would do. Why has Tesla stock blown up this much? And what is the well, what are the ramifications for many investors? Well, good and bad. In fact, really good and really bad, depending on who you are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Now, guys, Elon Musk has said the shorts who are shorting Tesla will be burned. They'll be, in fact, destroyed, annihilated. He wasn't referring to now, by the way. He's referring to next this time next year. In essence, he's predicting that Tesla stock will have its NVIDIA moment and possibly even surpass NVIDIA. In fact, he's predicting it will surpass NVIDIA, but not. he doesn't give a timeline on when. Now, is Musk right? Who knows? But we do know that many shorts have had their, their pants pulled down once again, their shorts pulled down once again. I'm just imagining these, <laughs> these fat old men with their pants down running around. <laughs> yeah, not a nice sight, I know. Anyhow, this is quite an interesting situation here because many shorts jumped in. Tesla stock price, right? A month ago was at about 170 US dollars. Many shorts were, well, at that point in time, Tesla was the most shorted stock in the US. And well, as you can imagine, a 47% rise over the past about 28 days, 47%. I mean, imagine being in that situation. Now, on the flip side, many of you said um, to me, I got emails saying, Oh, Tesla stock has collapsed and I'm, I'm, I'm losing my life savings and what should I do? And I said, guys, this is not an investment. Uh, if you're going to invest in any company, it doesn't matter who it is, Tesla or anyone else, you don't do it for a month. You don't do it for six months. You do it as long as you think the business is worth what, what, what you think it's worth. So let's say you come in and you think this company is worth X or it will be in five years. That's why I'm investing. That's why you do it. You don't do it because everyone else is doing it. It's all the hype is generating popularity. That's the worst possible reason to do it. And therefore, would you sell because the price is down? No, you'd sell because the business is not doing well. Or you think the business is no longer likely to achieve what it says it will. Clearly, that is the reason why so many investors have jumped on board and Tesla stock prices has gone crazy. 200 billion rise in a very short period of time. And I mean, what Tesla stock was at $140. A few months ago, 140, it's now at 257. What a difference that is, right? Who would have thought? I think a lot of people saw it at 140 and went, wow, what an opportunity to you guys that had the money. The key is having the money. You might think it's good, but you think, well, what can I do if I've got a couple of thousand dollars? But having the money, being in a position to do it, right? Being smart and then capitalizing on that, you've nearly doubled your investment in a few months' time. So kudos to you guys. I know there's some people out there that did that. Well done to you guys. Why? But what has driven this? meteoric rise in the price of Tesla Tesla stock. Well, it started about a month ago, so it's got nothing to do with Tesla's recent deliveries. Uh, maybe a little bit. I mean, there's a 5% rise after that. Really, really insignificant 5%. Uh, people, a lot of people are saying, electric saying, oh, it's because of the energy storage. Well, the thing was, we found out about this enormous increase in energy storage, 9.4 gigawatt hours installed worldwide, deployed worldwide, massive. That's Tesla's biggest quarter in, or biggest quarter in energy storage by more than double ever in its history. And that's great, but that only increased the price of the stock by maybe maybe, maybe 10%, not really the driving reason. I think that's very clear. The driving reason is Tesla's supercomputer. Now that sounds ridiculous. It's a computer, who gives a shit, right? Well, investors do. Investors believe Tesla is close enough to solving full self-driving, they believe Tesla has received you know, preliminary permits in China. There's a reason for that. It's good enough and it will get there probably within the next six months. That's what a lot of investors are saying on forums, on Reddit, etc. Now, this doesn't mean it will happen. I'm not saying it will. And in fact, I believe it will happen. I'm not saying I know when though, whether or not it's six months, 12 months, two years, I don't know. But it almost certainly will happen considering how good it is right now. It's not a question of if I should say, it's a question of when will it happen. Now, intriguingly, if we have a look at some of the hedge funds that shorted Tesla, um, Bloomberg News said about 18% of the over 500 hedge funds being tracked by data provider Hazeltree held a short position in Tesla at the end of Q2 2024. 
18% of 500 hedge funds, they're the biggest in the world, right? And, and one in five of them. In other words, nearly 100 hedge funds are shorting Tesla even now. And they were, what, a month ago? So in that month, since they've been shorting Tesla, uh, the price has gone up by f about 44%. If you look at exactly 30 days from today, 44.5%. Imagine if you were invested in one of these hedge funds and you had no idea what these idiots were doing, right? Here's the thing. I know, com I know these hedge funds still think Tesla's just a car company. That is crazy. You now, you've, basically now, you've got to say Tesla will not achieve full self-driving. It will not um, be able to ma manufacture robots. Those two things won't happen. Therefore, the company will fail. Now, maybe you would say that if like Tesla was in debt, like a lot of these companies are, a lot of these artificial intelligence companies have massive amounts of debt. And they have really no product to say that their, 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 um, their invention or their software will ever work. Then it's a very high risk. But I think with Tesla, it, the question, like I said, is not a matter of when will they solve for self-driving or when will it be approved and when will they have Tesla bots? The question is, when will those things actually happen? When will they be um, in the market? What will the price be? They're the real questions here. And I think that's the key reason why these hedge funds are making a mistake because even though that could happen in a lot longer than what Tesla hopes, it could be three years away, that still will mean these hedge funds, these short positions are pretty unlikely to really pay off. I don't really see there being a real, a big, very likely um, positive outcome for these hedge funds. The risk to, risk to reward, reward ratio just doesn't seem that logical, especially if you consider Tesla's price to earnings. Their price to earnings is around 40, right? There are so many stocks out there, guys, where their price to earnings is in the negative. You're not talking 100, 200, you're talking negative. Never made, never made a profit in their entire history. Look at Neo, x -Pung. Never made a profit in their entire history, right? That's where the danger lies, right? You're hoping that that company will suddenly turn things around. They may not. So they might be valued at $50 billion. They have $10 billion of debt. Um, that means, realistically, that company may never turn a profit. And that, in my opinion, is probably a situation more, much more risky, right? Than shorting a company where their price to earnings ratio at about 40 is what half of what Amazon is at. Anyhow, here's what Sawyer Merritt said. Hedge funds piled into short bets against Tesla right before it announced delivery numbers that triggered a 20% stock rally. 18% of the 500 plus hedge funds tracked by Hazeltree had an overall short position on Tesla at the end of June, the highest percentage in more than a year. And clearly, these hedge funds are tying their decisions to do well, directly with Tesla's sales of vehicles, individual vehicles. That's what they understand. It's simple. Look at Tesla's numbers. How many cars did they deliver in the last quarter? Oh, the first, the first quarter of this year, the numbers were less, right? So therefore, Tesla, bad. Therefore, we'll win. But I don't think it's that simple anymore. Artificial intelligence is really the key here. Now, in a Fortune report, Tesla became the butt of jokes on Wall Street because the stock trailed the rest of the Magnificent Seven by a substantial degree. And its growth, well, seemed to have stopped. Following the release of the Q2 2024 vehicle delivery and production report, and obviously battery delivery report, Tesla stock showed a pretty impressive rise. Now, the fact that Tesla just added around $200 billion back onto its valuation as a company over the past couple of months is pretty staggering when you consider the fact that General Motors has a market cap of 51 billion. No, sorry, I should say 53 billion. Ford is at 51 billion. So that still means Tesla is worth many multiples of General Motors and Ford put together. But what does that tell you about what Tesla is? Is it a car company based on what investors believe? Well, clearly not. Thanks for watching.